emissions since um, June this year, mm-hmm. up from 42.8% pe- in October 2022. The default rate in small businesses far outpaced that in overall banking. Mm-hmm. So the default rate um, for loans in overall banking stood at about 14%, up from 13.8%. Um, the study goes on to say that um, a borrowers of the Hustler Fund were also defaulting on payments at a higher rate. Also that um, female-owned businesses were the highest defaulters at 62.3%. That's up from 55% in October last year, Mm -hmm. showing that women have been hit hardest with the reduced cash flows more than men Mm -hmm. due to our current economic times. Yeah, the COVID effect was also felt because inflation uh, came as a a measure of that. And there was an increase uh, in in, uh, the five-year period that... uh, in between uh, COVID and now and two years before that, mm-hmm. uh, already businesses were showing signs of uh, the economic headwinds that were actually targeting the the poor sales. And uh, some of the things that actually caused uh, the, the, the kind of, of um, businesses we are doing right now is uh, why we are grappling with that is because of poor sales, high inflation, and a spike in interest rates. So... <laughs> In a kuna kuna reduction of the of the cash flow, and there's the, when there's no cash flow, and same, uh, the, there's a reason as to why it's called the bank. It's yeah. just like a river. Yeah. You have to go closer to where the waters are so mm-hmm. that you get some. Yeah, yeah. So if there is no cash flow, then uh, the businesses are pretty much affected. Import export costs. Uh, the dollar also uh, comes into play. And as if that's not enough, people are getting different ways of doing b- businesses. Right now, people opt to buy things from the supermarket compared to the small businesses right next door. When a part to come and make a loan and they're taking more loans to cushion that, yeah. they're most likely going to default. Yeah, because uh, the small, the Mamamboga doesn't have the economies of scale that your supermarket, your grocery store yeah. has. Um, also, there's a story on the Business Daily about how 10 firms are joining the battle for betting billions. Mm-hmm. So the new taxation in the betting industry was meant to discourage the craze, but it doesn't seem to have done that. Um, betting taxes now stand at um, 12.5% of all stakes and at 20% withholding tax for winnings mm-hmm. but about 10 new betting firms have been cleared by the bclb to operate in the country mm-hmm. um they include uh, new firms like play to net 44 bet savvy bet chapa bet um sport pesa ea lotto etc of course um kenyans placed a record 88 billion through online b- uh, b- bets in the full year ended june mm-hmm. 2023 yes. so this was meant to discourage betting especially for underage um, people for minors however it does not seem to have worked it'll yeah. be interesting to see how much uh can be collected from betting wins yes. from this withholding tax and of course the 12.5 excise tax if we can fund part of our budget via bet Really? Because Kenyans use it as um almost as a career, right? Yeah, there, there's some people who just sit at home and bet over everything. Now, you think that football is the only thing that people bet in? No. Yeah. Uh, horse racing, uh, horse racing is one of the things that actually people uh, bet in. Uh, dog, dog, dog chase, dog, dog races. Also, you're like Mona Brian and Ajwa yes. to remove your polo. Yeah, because he's uh, analyzing yeah, odds. Analyzing polo, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, odds and stuff like that. So, kuna pia historia Formula One, which is also becoming such a uh, a frenzy in Kenya. Mm-hmm. It's causing a lot of uh, thrill. Yeah. And people are really excited for it. Also, race cars. It's so many different things. And you might think it's a joke, but it's actually really going to affect us maybe in future. But why is the betting licensing and, and uh, control board still registering more companies? I think um, it's, you know, it's they're still viable business to operate in the country. So I think if they meet the threshold, they get their licenses. Mm-hmm. Um, however, as far as discouraging young people from betting, I don't think it's taxation that will do that. It's providing them with meaningful employment yes. um, so that an, they can make money without needing to an, bet. Unemployment is actually the reason number one as to why we have that. Keep Absolutely. on using the hashtag morning fix. We're just about to turn over the hour. Make sure that you get to stand by for Music Machine and also talk on for cash in just a bit. CCR. Absolutely. Here's Megan the Stallion and Lado with budget. What's your budget? You know this box is like my watch. Yeah. Blood 